As, um, as, we've, as those of us from Boroughville and uh, those who have been following the uh, current uh, siting board uh, application, Ms. Sloman is, is very thorough and this, uh, these comments uh, follow uh, in, in that um, reputation. I Mr. Roselli? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to commend uh, uh, Ms. Sloman on her detailed comments. It, it might be helpful, and uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, for Jace, uh, for Mr. Olkowski to uh, mention just who Stephanie uh, Sloman used to work for. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, she she was uh, she worked for the the Environmental Protection Agency, and and has uh, a lot of background both in uh, uh, chemistry and uh, aquifer wetlands and a whole bunch of other areas within that that division of uh, the federal government. And she printed the. Um, the, uh, her, her statement in very festive red and green colors. So. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, and that, um, that is um, all the witnesses we have signed up for today and the written testimony we've received today. We will have another uh, opportunity for public comment, and I think um, that will come sometime in January after the holidays. Uh, we will um, work, Mr. Hogan is going to work with the committee members to try to find a date and time and also the internal schedule here because the General Assembly will be back in session where we can uh, find some space to meet and we'll, we'll try to work with all that and uh, also uh, try to find a time that is a little more um, conducive to people who are, are working a, a nine to five job can come and testify. So. Um, there's no proposed dates for that as of yet, but we will be in contact with you and with the public on that. Mr. Daniels. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. There have been a couple of references today and at the previous hearing about the uh, comparative study that New Hampshire did on energy siting. Would it be possible to get a copy of that uh, prior to the next meeting? I, we're hearing a lot of recommendations. It'd be helpful to find out where those stand in compared to, uh, compared to other places. Yes, absolutely. Mr. Hogan will distribute that to, to all the members of the committee. Mr. Olkowski. Uh, Mr. Chairman, on the topic, uh, Vermont, uh, the state of Vermont also did an exhaustive um, study with several recommendations that I recommend making available to the committee as well. Um, they also uh, had an extensive categorization of, of public commentary uh, that they had received during that process that may be valuable um, for context as well. That's great. We'll get that around to a great idea. Yeah, Vermont. And I'm sure Mr. Olkowski will, can help you with that, Mr. Hogan. Yeah, I'll, I'll provide sure that. i do that. Uh, one other question, Mr. Chairman. Um, Not to it, volunteer you, Jason, but I... Uh, uh, one other comment or question, Mr. Chairman. Um, members of the public, uh, can they submit uh, written testimony um, to the commission as well? Yes, members of the public um, are welcome to submit written testimony to, to the commission at, at any point in time uh, throughout this process, and, and that's encouraged. And um, to the extent that written testimony comes in, it will get distributed to the committee members as well. And wh where should they send that? Uh, Mr. Hogan, what is the best email address to use for that? Great, thank you. Yeah, that's uh, M Hogan, H O G A N, at RILegislature.gov for those at home. Okay, and with that, a uh, motion to adjourn is in order. Second. All in favor? Okay, we are adjourned until our next meeting.